Okay, welcome back everyone. We are starting this video off here with a little unboxing. Redodo sponsored the channel, so this video is in fact sponsored by Redodo Batteries, so click the link in the description. I'll have the link to these bad boys in the description below, but uh, yeah, let's just get right into it, I guess. We'll go ahead and unbox these. We'll hit you guys with like one of these. Alright, so we are greeted with the manual here, Redodo, 25.6 volt, 100 amp hour, so two of them will be used for a 48 volt system. Wow, look at that, cool, very cool looking design, let's go ahead and Pop this out of the box here. All right, there it is, Redodo. 25.6 volt, 100 amp hour, lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery. There you could see they got their little logo here. It's like a little Jaguar or a Tiger or some kind of cat running younger bolder stronger i really like the design of this like it has like a nice livery on it like i could see like a nascar with like this kind of design on it um but yeah i got another shelving unit as well at home depot so that i can um keep these off the floor so i'm gonna go ahead and set up the uh little shelving unit i got and then yeah, get all this up in the trailer, go ahead and get this set up, and uh, see what we get into in the next couple days here. Alright everyone, so it's been like, I forgot honestly how long, maybe like a week or two since that last clip that you guys just saw. Um, yeah, I came up here to just check up on everything. Um, yeah, we got a little bit of snow down, as you could see here last night. Got a little dusting, so... I actually came up here to uh, just get some anti-gel in the Mahindra and get some like fuel stabilizer in the generator, all the gas cans, the RV. So yeah, I was thinking, I don't know if anyone would be interested on this channel. I know this is kind of specific stuff here i know like there's probably like a like circle car team or some shit that'd be interested in this setup here but um i'm thinking about trading or selling the rv in the trailer you guys have seen plenty of this stuff here on the channel um yeah the trailer's good all the hubs are good greased brakes work really good it's just got uh you know that panel up there is like rusted off and yeah, RV has no hood and no front bumper on it, but we have those at the shop. Uh, the door handle's busted still. Um, but yeah, I'm honestly willing to sell them both as a pair. Clean Connecticut titles for both of them. Um, so yeah, is anyone interested? Message me on Facebook, Life Zero D. I don't really feel like making a for sale posting, so um, if anyone's actually interested, just... DM me on Facebook and uh, shoot me an offer. I'm not even trying to, like, I'm not, how do I fucking word it? I'm not even trying to tax it. Like, I don't really care. Like, just make me an offer. But what I'm really looking for is to trade for a one-car aluminum trailer or to trade for a 240, which, in my opinion, that value of those is way less than these two items put together. So that's why I'm trying to either sell them for a super good deal or just straight trade but yeah well we could go take a look inside the rv real quick so yeah like i was saying there's the hole in the trailer decking you guys have seen this stuff on the channel plenty of times before so yeah or i mean you could use this for like tractors like you want to start like a landscaping business or some shit start like a fucking excavator company i don't know um yeah this weld here went bye bye so so the ramp for this is in the back of the Baconator. I do have the ramp kind of just sits in here like this. So yeah, there's the two car trailer. I kind of just want this stuff out of here. 
I've been using this bungee cord the whole time. It works pretty good. See, you can do it one handed. Um, excuse the little bit of mess here. I got some water bottle bags there. This is in bed mode here. Um, yeah, there's the spare. Here's the little fridge area. The shower. Bathroom. Some baby wipes right there. Uh, yeah. I have the lower mattress for this if you're interested. Uh, once again, excuse the mess. Oh, there's my fucking series x i was wondering where that went yeah so there it is the interior is pretty clean i'm not gonna lie like you guys think oh it's fucking life od's rv that thing's probably disgusting and stinks it's actually really not that bad you can see right here like the furniture is in good shape uh the kitchen is like in good shape here the walls look good the only thing gans really is the no door handle missing fridge uh missing shower door thing but honestly, you could blow this out. You could literally blow this all out, remove that desk, and put another set of bunk beds here. So this thing has hella options for like you to do later in life. But um, we'll go around to the front, as you guys know. Oh, it's covered in snow. Um, upgraded transmission coolers work super good. Uh, LQ4. 60 gasser does need a battery though so keep that in mind if you want to come buy it we'll have to jump it or something like that or i could jump it meet you at the bangor mall and then we go from there like i said clean title for the rv clean title for the trailer um i'll sell them separate i'll trade them separate i'll sell them together i'll trade them together it doesn't really matter like i said i kind of just want them off the property and uh i don't really I just don't think we're going to use it anymore, to be honest, because we already talked about at the shop for next season at Lock City, we're just going to run the Cabela's Tent Mansion. We aren't really planning on using it, so if we don't end up using it for Lock City, it's literally just going to sit here and eventually rot away over the years. But uh, yeah, I think that one of you guys watching could have a uh, really fun time with you and your team, you and your family, you and your friends. You could tiny home it, van life it, whatever you got to do. I'll sell it for cheap. Um... Yeah, I'm not even looking to get out back what we put into it, so I just kind of want it gone, one of those things. Um, but yeah, LQ4, 60. I don't remember what trans it is. I think it's a 4L80E, I believe, because it's two-wheel drive. Um, yeah, we have the hood and the front bumper at the shop, so if you want those, obviously you could take them, but we're pulling the two-car trailer all the time with this thing, so maximum airflow, boom. Uh, never had an overheating issue after we did all that, but yeah look at this guys we finally got some snow up here obviously not enough to ride the sled it's kind of literally a dusting but yeah i'm excited for this winter so this is just for anyone that's gonna try to tire kick me about the bottom oh i don't want to i don't want to come by it without like looking at it like dude don't please don't waste my time on some shit like that like you either want it or you don't look it's not rotted frame is solid thing was never driven into actual winter um yeah don't please don't hit me up and be like dude let me just come check it out first and then we'll go from there and then fucking you're gonna ask me for a goddamn selfie oh i met onion from hagnar check this out i didn't buy his rv though and we all left empty-handed like please don't do that if you want it you want it if you don't you don't don't waste our time there's the bottom of the rv we'll go and show the bottom of the trailer just because I know some well, someone's probably gonna bitch about that too. Here we'll go up here. Okay. There's the bottom of the trailer. Maybe we'll show the back too, fuck it. I'm not trying to hide nothing, I don't really care. There's the back. But yeah. DM me on Facebook, Life Zero D. Yeah, it's uh this is a sad one to film, boys. This might be the last vloggy style video. Possibly. Cause I'm telling you what, it's fucking cold right now. And um it's only gonna get colder for the winter up here, so I'll film a little bit when I get the sled up here finally, but I don't think that I'm going to be able to 
carry the channel, you know? I don't know if I have it in me anymore to kind of... Because, like, all the videos leading up to this point was at the shop and me up here, like, doing stuff, trying to get the cabin down and all that. But now it's like... We got to the point where no one really wants to film at the shop. We're paying for the shop out of pocket. So it's like there's no real need to film there anyway. And at least in the boys' eyes, they're, now it's like more of like a relaxed kind of vibe. Like you just go show up, sit down, do what you got to do. Or maybe you're going to just chill and do nothing. And there's no pressure of like, oh shit, like what are we filming today? Like, oh, who has parts? Let's film that. It's just like kind of go with the flow type vibe there. And up here now i got the solar down i got the cabin down and yeah now it, this is kind of like my little winter paradise looking ass shit we'll see when we get more snow down though i can't say that now i want i want fucking th three feet down right here and then i'm gonna come up here and ride the sled around but yeah i don't know if this is going to be the last vloggy style video on here but if it is it's been real guys um if I do end up doing more videos, like on my own or whatever, just trying to keep the channel alive, then they'll probably be like either sim, sim videos, gaming videos, or like, like talking head, like end of the world, like, uh, prepare, hide your wife, hide your kids style videos. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't really, like I said, I don't know. I'm just literally spitballing out loud. I don't know how long I'm going to stay up here, and like I said, this might possibly be the last vloggy style video. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, I'm going to run this through the Mahindra and just get it ready for like back to back to back freezing days. So it was really freaking cold, but Mr. Cool keeping the cabin nice and warm, solar panels keeping everything eco-friendly. 